So, uh, this is going to be a picture with a few bits in it. First part, you can see I'm doing it in pencil crayon because it's, it's easier to get it right. The first part is a ringed high metal planet and uh, that's uh, that's there on the left and on the right you've got the planetary ring possibly of the planet that we're viewing it from and at the bottom you've got a spaceship on the left and in the middle on the right you've got a uh, an SRV that's flying through the air towards you so there's quite a few bits in this picture that are, are interesting to look at to be honest I'm being kind of quite w wussy with this really because I'm doing quite a lot of planning in pencil. It's because it's so detailed, there's loads of bits and bobs in it and I just thought, look, do you know what? I'm only going to make a bad job of it if I don't think about it a little bit. It's actually a little bit more of a, an effort to put chalk on top of pencil crayon as well. Uh, though watercolour pencil crayon is a lot easier than normal pencil crayon because there's not as much wax in that. So I'm putting the chalk on now. I thought I'd do the the background galaxy first to try and bring everything into sort of one picture rather than chunks of stuff that's all dotted around. I'm popping a bit of chalk on that little high metal planet's rings there and cutting masks. Quite a lot of time spent faffing around with masks to try and make sure that I've got a nice sharp edge on the rings and the actual shape of the planet. That's one of my favourite bits actually, removing a mask when you've done a bit of chalking. It's uh, stenciling. <laughs> Stenciling's great, it's a bit like printing. It's uh, It's got the reveal. That's why I like printing. It's a bit of a faff rubbing out chalk. You can do it and, it and it does come off, but it takes ages and you've got to go right back to the paper. So if you've just made a little mistake, which I do a lot, <laughs> you, you use a paintbrush and just flick off the surface layer of the chalk and it invariably works. It's It's surprising what you can get away with. The thing I'm trying to do much of the time in this bit is trying to make the galaxy match the galaxy that's the other side of the ring so it does actually look like that's one galaxy rather than two random bits of coloured space that I'm putting in. Just an awful lot of smudging and colouring and smudging and <laughs> correcting and fixing and overdoing and fixing which you're just going to be forced to watch because uh, I, I had to do it so you might as well endure it too. No, it's fun. I enjoy it. <laughs> Quite a lot of this was drawing and smudging over that SRV there to be honest this picture took ages to just do it and then smudge it because some of it was under a dust cloud I didn't think I actually managed to successfully show that but it was kind of like it was slightly in its own dust so anyway um yeah uh, sitting on the ground there on the left hand side you've got um you've got cutter fairly certain it's a cutter um it's pretty small in terms of it's in terms of the amount of the picture it takes up but um but yeah you can sort of see the curve the imperial curve of the rear parts of the ship it's facing away from you you can see on the right hand side of the ship you've got the the engine and then in the center to the left you've got the um the rear of the ship you just make out a little bit of the left wing just on the far left of the of the drawing there so I'm picking it out in the watercolour pencil crayon because it blends well with the chalk not actually using any water on this to be honest I'm going over with a bit more of a, a, a colour to give it a warmer dark shade and um, basically going back over it with white and then black to try and give it that kind of sleek imperial look to um, didn't do this in chalk it's too 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 teeny really and chalks are really as you can see pretty chunky and um, Anyway, so yeah, they've got this uh, cutter that they've landed on this planet to do their bouncy SRV play with. <laughs> Last night I was actually landing cutters on planets a bit. Now I'm really rubbish at landing my cutter. It's all right, I just always go clonk. But then I suppose that's why you have shields, isn't it? Except I think that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, it's as long as you've got a nice flat football pitch to pop it on, you're all right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, as well as doing a little bit of um, the ground, I'm, I'm going to do the planetary ring. The funny one that's clearly this planet's ring that appears to intersect with the ring of the planet that's in the binary orbit with. So you've got this against the darkness of space, but you've also got the bit that's going overlapping the... Um, the planetary ring in the distance uh, that's that's not got that uh, background of space in the same way so it's a bit of a faff to tweak it hopefully not too bad I'll just put a few of these pebbles in these are the 
the surface, the rocky surface of the planet that uh, this SRV is jumping over. So this SRV is flying through the air. It's actually bouncing through the air. They, 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 they're pretty good, actually, as little little buggies. They go quite fast, and uh, it's doing something called fliving, by the looks of it. And, and, and fliving is where you, um, you skip over the top of the rocks. You'll get, like, this ground. You can't see it yet. But it's, um, it's got ridges and little valleys and lots of chunky little rocks that you, you might catch yourself on. But certainly at the top of those ridges, you can press your thrusters, your boost, as it were, and it'll, it'll bring you up into the air. And if you tilt down forwards, those thrusters, those, that, they'll, they'll send you forwards faster than you can travel on that arm. Sorry, my kids are going nuts. Oh, well, that's that sort of sorry about that. They, they can apparently say um, they've got fish in Spanish now. They've not got a fish. Anyway, so I was wittering about this SRV flying through the sky, well, driving, flying through the sky, and uh, this um, planet's got quite this bright star shining out. So I faffed around for a bit, trying to make sure that the um, the light shone equally underneath the SRV as it does above it, because you've got that that because you've got that halo of light coming from the star and uh, the, 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 the rays coming out of it. I didn't want to make it so that you couldn't see see that behind the SRV. I should have done it first and then very carefully drawn the SRV in afterwards, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a very careful person. I would only have done a bad job. Here's me trying to like put in clouds as well. Oh, a little bit of finishing off tweaking with a white pencil crayon that's also a watercolor pencil crayon so it's not super super thick and white like it could be but it's showing the front end of that cutter and it's little landing <laughs> landing stand anyway this is i think is the shadow there that i'm drawing the shadow of the srv they're pebbles obviously but the shadow of the srv flying through the sky so because you obviously you've got that um star behind so i'm assuming that the the shadow of the wheels the back wheels of the srv are those stripes that's the right at the bottom on the right and in the middle anyway this is this is done actually uh, thanks so much for listening gosh <laughs>